Denmark Travel Tips Money Saving Tips Denmark Denmark is one of my favorite countries in the world, with its beautiful landscape, charming medieval-like towns, clean air, bike-friendly cities, and locals who love to have a good time. I can never visit Denmark enough. The Danes have a very ordered but happy lifestyle. To them, life is meant to be lived not spent in an office. Most tourists only spend a few days in Copenhagen before the high cost of the country make them move on. However, those people miss out on what the country has to offer. Besides, there are plenty of ways to save money here too. So, don't just go to Copenhagen. Be sure to explore the coastlines, tiny cities, and beautiful parks that fill this small but wonderful place. There is a lot to see and do, and very few tourists take the time to travel beyond the capital. That means you'll have much of the country to yourself as you explore. This travel guide to Denmark can help you plan your trip, save money, and make the most of your time in this charming country. Top 5 Things to See and Do in Denmark 1. Visit Copenhagen One of my favorite cities in the world is Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. It's beautiful, the architecture is amazing, there is a great nightlife, and the locals are friendly. Explore the stunning Rosenborg Castle, which dates back to 1606, and is filled with artifacts that belong to Scandinavian royals. Check out unique museums like Cisternern, a venue and exhibition space located in an underground cistern. Be sure to cruise the colorful 17th century Nyhav Harbor and visit Tivoli Park as well. 2. Explore Aarhus. Denmark's second largest city is known for its art and culture. Enjoy plenty of fascinating museums like Den Gamlebyg, which features 75 historic buildings and offers a glimpse into daily life during the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries. Don't skip a visit to Aros either it's one of the biggest tea art museums in Europe and has an incredible rooftop platform that offers the best panoramic views in the city. Beyond the many museums and galleries are unique amusement parks such as Legoland and the Tivoli Friheden. This is a major college town and has an active nightlife and good budget restaurants too. 3. See Roskilde. Roskilde was Denmark's capital from 960 to 1536. It hosts Europe's largest music festival every June. This is an amazing city to view the country's history, whether it be at the various churches, brick building lined streets, or the Viking influenced museums. You can set sail aboard a real Viking ship, explore museums, or visit the nearby national park, Skjoldjern's Land. The cathedral, dating to the 17th century, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is the most famous in the country. 4. Go hiking like their Scandinavian counterparts, Danes love the outdoors. Whether you want a short day hike from the city or something more challenging, Denmark has it all. Some beautiful trails to hike are the Camnon Trial and the Gendarmstien Trial. Five, hit the beach. With 7,400 kilometers of coastline, Denmark has its fair share of beaches. While the weather can be tricky, a sunny day on the beach in Denmark is a wonderful way to unwind. Check out Hornk Beach, Begerg Beach, and Blokhus Beach. For swimming in Copenhagen, check out Amager Beach Park and Svanemli Beach. Other things to see and do in Denmark 1. Visit Kronborg Castle, located along the coast in Helsinger and built between 1220 
1230, the castle was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. It is also the castle where Shakespeare set his play, Hamlet, in 1609. It's a great place to wander and explore, and it's only an hour from Copenhagen. You can tour the castle and see the royal apartments, as well as the dining hall and the chapel. Tickets are 125 Danish krona. 2. Go Wild in Deerhaven. Known commonly as the Deer Park, this park was built in 1669 and is just outside Copenhagen. Spanning over 11 kilometers, you can cycle, hike, and horseback ride here. Be sure to check out the Bakken Amusement Park also within the park, which has all kinds of rides, carnival games, and slot machines. Admission to both the park and amusement park is free. Three, explore the Skagen's Museum. This museum features an extensive collection of works by the Skagen painters, a group of artists who lived in Skagen in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Opened in 1908, the collection has almost 2,000 works of art and also features a rotating list of temporary exhibitions as well. Admission is 120 Danish krona. 4. Visit Randers, a small town located in the harbor of the Kolding Fjord on the Jutland Peninsula. This is a nice place to base yourself if you want to hike, birdwatch, or cycle. The cobbled streets and crooked alleys will transport you back in time. Klosham Castle is one of the country's last remaining castles. It was built in the 1690s and is one of the oldest Baroque estates in Denmark. Many of the rooms remain in their original condition. The surrounding grounds are home to 1,000 linden trees, and it's the perfect place for a picnic on a warm sunny day after exploring the castle. Admission to just the grounds is 50 Danish krona, while access to the park and the castle is 150 Danish krona. The main tourist attraction here is the Randers Rainforest Zoo, which houses native plants and free-roaming animals from the rainforests of South America, Asia, and Africa. Admission to the zoo is 195 Danish krona. 5. Visit Svendborg. Located on the island of Funen in southern Denmark, Svendborg is a town entrenched in history. You can visit Valde Mars Slot, a palace that was constructed by King Christian IV for his son, Valde Mar. Some parts of the grounds, including three museums and a lovely cafe, are open to the public. While you're in Svendborg, don't miss Naturama, a wildlife museum with tons of interactive exhibits, as well as the Fursorgs Museum, a welfare museum in the city's former poorhouse. It highlights the horrific working conditions of the city's poor prior to Denmark becoming the equitable welfare state it is today. Be sure to also spend some time wandering around Svendborg and taking in the historical architecture. There are all kinds of charming narrow lanes and historic houses and shops in town. 6. Meander through Tivoli. Just adjacent to Copenhagen Central Station, Tivoli is the city's famous amusement park, complete with a Ferris wheel, games, roller coasters, and a concert hall. This is an awesome place to spend an afternoon. It's not cheap, but it's certainly fun. Avoid the weekend and school holidays when the place is overflowing with families. Weekday admission is 145 Danish krona, and weekends cost 155 Danish krona. 7. Head over to North Zealand. Just a train ride away from Copenhagen, North Zealand features an idyllic coastline, beautiful landscapes, and the Shakespearean setting of Kronborg Castle. The region is often called the Danish Riviera, due to its plentiful sandy beaches and numerous cultural icons. 
Don't miss to Svildelige, Dranengamal, and Gudmindrup Beach if you're looking to lounge and enjoy the sunshine. If you're looking to get away from the city for a day or maybe more, this is an awesome place to head to and one not often visited by tourists. Visit the 17th century Frederiksborg Castle in Hillard, which is considered Denmark's Versailles. The Maritime Museum of Denmark and the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art can be found in North Zealand as well. Helsinger and Hillard make for good bases in the region if you plan on exploring. Eight, visit the Gelling Stones. The Gelling Stones are massive runestones raised stones with runic inscriptions dating all the way back to the 10th century. They were declared a UNESCO heritage site in 1994 and are worth checking out if you are in the area. The oldest runestone was raised by King Gaum, the old in memory of his wife and the largest stone was left by Harald Bluetooth to celebrate his conquest of Denmark and Norway. You can reach Gelling by train from Aarhus. The ride takes just over an hour. Admission is free. Nine, watch the Hans Christian Andersen Parade. Famous for his fairy tales, this parade is a performance featuring over 30 characters from Hans Andersen's literary works. Held every day during the summer behind the Andersen Museum in Odense on the southwestern island of Funen, this is a neat event to check out, especially for children. 10. Attend a music festival. Roskilde is the Danish music festival with the biggest international reputation, but it only offers a taste of the music scene in Denmark. Other big events include the Smokfest, Copenhagen Jazz Festival, Tinder Festival, and the Sky Festival. Danes love a good festival so be sure to book your tickets and accommodation early as things sell out fast. 10. Denmark Travel Costs Accommodation rates vary a lot depending on what city you're staying in. On average, you'll wind up paying about 200 Danish krona for a dorm room at a hostel with 6, 8 beds. For a private room, prices start around 675 Danish krona per night. Free Wi-Fi is standard and most hostels also have self-catering facilities. Free breakfast isn't that common here though. For a budget hotel room, expect to pay around 600 Danish krona per night for a two-star hotel. Free Wi-Fi, TV, and a coffee or tea maker are usually included. Airbnb is pretty expensive when not booked early. Expect to pay an average of 500 Danish krona per night for a private room, while entire homes or apartments cost around 700 Danish krona. If camping is your thing, you'll have plenty of options all across the country. Wild camping is illegal, but you can look for free tenting zones in public forests and pitch a tent there. The only catch is that you can only stay one night per camp spot. For paid campsites, expect to pay between 65, 115 Danish krona for a basic plot without electricity. Many of the major campgrounds sell out early so be sure to book in advance during the peak season. Food Danish cuisine leans heavily on meat and seafood. Cod, herring, and pork are never far from any meal. Dark bread and open-faced sandwiches known as smurabird are a staple for both breakfast and lunch. Liver paste is a local favorite, as is shrimp on bread. Most traditional dinner meals revolve around meat and potatoes.
Eating out, like everything in Denmark, is pricey. A meal out at a restaurant serving traditional cuisine costs around 125 Danish krona. Cheap takeaway sandwich shops cost 85 Danish krona, while a fast food combo costs around 85 Danish krona. For a three-course meal and a drink, expect to pay at least 350 Danish krona. Chinese food and Thai food can be found for as little as 80, 85 Danish krona. Expect to pay around 6 to 80 Danish krona for a pizza. Food trucks and food halls are popular in the country's larger cities. Don't miss Torva Hallern and Tivoli Food Hall in Copenhagen, which offers everything from tapas and drinks to fresh produce and local cheeses. Expect to spend at least 100 Danish krona for a meal. In Aarhus, head to Aarhus Street Food, where a collection of food trucks offer everything from Turkish and Korean food to fish and chips to sweet treats. Beer is 50 Danish krona, while a cappuccino or latte is around 40 to Danish krona. Bottled water is 20 Danish krona. If you are going to cook your own food, expect to pay around 400 Danish krona per week for basic staples like vegetables, pasta, rice, and some meat or fish. Money saving tips. Denmark can be an expensive country to visit. If you aren't careful, you'll blow through your entire budget in no time. There's no way to make this country a cheap place to visit, but here are some ways to save money when you're here. 1. Go Orange The Danish rail system offers cheap tickets via their website called Orange Tickets. They are only available online, and you have to print out the ticket before you board the train. These tickets are up to 60% cheaper than what you can buy at the railway station. 2. Get a city tourism card if you plan to do a lot of sightseeing and visit a lot of attractions, then I highly recommend you get one of the city passes that offer discounts and free admission to museums and attractions. They also come with free transportation. 3. Refill your water bottle The water in Denmark is safe to drink and is held to very high standards. Skip buying bottled water here and refill your bottle instead. 4. Eat on the street Street stalls selling hot dogs and sausages are cheap and plentiful. Fill up on them if you're on a budget. 5. Get a Hosteling International Card DanHostel.dk is the national accredited hosteling international network. They operate 60-plus hotels throughout the country, so you'll want to get an high card if you plan on staying at their hostels during your stay. If purchased in Denmark, high cards are 160 Danish kroners. 6. Stay with the local accommodation in Denmark is pricey. If you plan ahead, you can usually find couch surfing hosts throughout the country. This way, you not only have a place to stay, but you'll have a local host that can share their insider tips and advice. 7. Hitchhike Hitchhiking in Denmark, like the rest of Scandinavia, is easy. Since most of the population speaks English, you won't have a hard time communicating. Having your destination written on a sign will go a long way to help you secure a ride, as will showing a flag of where you're from. 8. Cook your food eating out in Denmark is not cheap. If you're on a budget, cook your own meals. It won't be glamorous, but it will save you money. 9. Eat out for lunch if you must eat out. Do so during lunch when specials and buffet deals make restaurants reasonably priced. 10. Book in advance booking train and bus tickets a month in advance can save you up to 50%. I truly hope you found this Denmark travel guide helpful in planning your upcoming adventures. Don't hesitate to drop any questions in the comments. Thank you very much.